Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Making coffee is nothing new to the channel, but no, we're not going to talk just about coffee today. When you're making coffee, you need to boil water, and I've used quite a few different kettles over the year, whether it be from Expedition Research, Trangia, I even picked up one recently from GSI. But I noticed on quite a few YouTubers, especially YouTubers from Europe and other countries, they were using this specific type of kettle, and I was really curious about it because it looked pretty darn cool. Well, it turns out they were using a Norwegian product, and I was lucky enough to pick one up. So let's take a look at it today and show you guys what I think may be the best bushcraft kettle out there. Thanks for watching. Well, I'll tell y'all, it is nice to be back out in the woods. It's been a long, hot summer. We've had Hurricane Laura, as you could see from some of the pictures that I just showed you guys. This is the first time that I get out on this part of the trail. I've been to one other part of the trail, didn't take my camera out, but the destruction was unbelievable. We lost all kinds of really old trees. This is an area that I commonly come shoot at, and it looks like a, like a destruction zone. Uh, everything is just snapped. Uh, there's plenty of firewood, that's for sure. But it's pretty amazing what a storm like this can do to the forest. Anyway, let's check out this kettle. This is the 0.7 liter Norwegian camp kettle from Eagle Products. It also comes in a one and a half liter size. I kind of wish I'd gotten the bigger one. This one's pretty small, but it's pretty awesome nonetheless. Can't tell very well because I've used it, but this is copper on the bottom. It's a good look at it. It is made in Norway and Badger Claw Leatherworks is the only US retailer. Dimensions are 5.7 by 2.9. It weighs 240 grams or eight and a half ounces. It's fairly heavy because it's made out of stainless steel. It also has this copper at the bottom, which you can see sort of in this area where it's not dark and tarred, but it has copper on the bottom to help increase conductivity. That copper is used in a lot of really nice cookware and it helps with heat distribution. It has two handles. This is a little bit more of a stable platform for say hanging over a fire. One of the things that I like about it, also one of the things that I don't like about it, I'll tell you guys about that in a little while. These handles never really seem to get warm either. I've had this thing over a fire many times already and they don't get hot. Now the factory carrying bag is, um, well, it kind of looks like a nightgown for your kettle. It's, it's not good. <laughs> Now Badger Claw steps up, you can see Badger Claw Outfitters, they step up and they include this wax canvas bag with every purchase of kettles from their store. This does not come with the Eagle product, again this is straight from Badger Claw. It's a 10 ounce wax canvas bag. Um, man, I'll tell you, initially when I bought this kettle, it took a long time. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that. They can be difficult to find. I had to wait months till they finally got back in stock and then when they finally got in stock, Due to the coronavirus at that time, they weren't able to make these bags. So the owner went ahead and sent me the kettle, and about two, two and a half weeks later, this bag showed up in the mail. Cost is $55.95 for the smaller one, $69.95 for the larger one. I definitely think that's worth it, and I might be picking up a larger version as well. But let's go ahead and make some coffee. We're going to get a fire started in our brand new titanium 
5 inch Gen 2 stove. So what do I think? Is this the best bushcraft kettle you can buy? First off, it's a beautiful kettle. It's exceptionally made. The copper is nice. The stainless steel is nice. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece of kit. Now in Louisiana, where even dry wood is still wet and you produce a lot of soot, you make your beautiful kettle pretty ugly very quickly. It feels pretty much bomb proof. The two handles really do add a lot of stability when you're hanging it over an open fire. And if you're into more traditional looking gear, this definitely fits the build. Just make sure you don't use the original carrying case. I have no doubt that I'll be able to hand this kettle down to my son uh, whenever he's ready to take over for it. And that's always a sign of a good piece of gear. That said, of course, there are a few things I don't like about the kettle very much. First, as I mentioned, of course, is the carrying case. Now, thankfully, Badger Claw takes care of that. But if you buy it somewhere else, you're going to have to work your way around it. So if you're another part of the world and you're not buying from Badger Claw, good luck with that case. Second, even though these two handles are very handy, they don't fold down very good. If they fold down this way, they don't fold down super tightly and sometimes they get in the way. You can see right there, they get in the way of packing it and that's kind of a pain in the rear. The last issue that I have with it is that the actual spout itself it's just a round spout. It doesn't have a little, a little nibble there, a little spout that you can easily pour with. I think that would make a huge difference if they just put a little bitty spout there. It would help quite a bit. But these are nitpicky things. The fit and finish of this kettle is awesome. They're not cheap, but they're not cheaply made. And I think that's what you're looking for for somewhat heirloom type gear. So again, is it the best bushcraft kettle there is? Listen guys, it's a kettle. All kettles pretty much function the same, whether it be a Transia kettle, my Expedition Research kettle, I've used those for years. Recently got, like I said, a GSI kettle. They all work well. They're kettles. They boil water. But as far as quality and overall fit and finish, I do think this is the best that I've personally used. It is a very cool piece of gear, and in the end, that matters, because you want to feel cool. In the end, it's up to you. Do you want to spend less money on an aluminum kettle or get one that's a little bit higher quality made out of stainless steel with that copper lining at the bottom? I'm not sure how much of a difference it really makes and I have no way to really test it, but it certainly seems to bring water to a boil quickly 
and it stays pretty warm in there for a little while. Again, I want to give a huge shout out to Badger Claw Outfitters. They are the only supplier here in the U.S. and they went above and beyond the Call of Duty. First of all, they get rid of that ugly carrying case it comes with. They give you this awesome wax canvas case. And in my case, because of the COVID, they weren't able to make it. So they went ahead and sent me my kettle. He sent me an email, said, look, I want you to have your kettle. Make sure you can use it. As soon as I can get back in the shop with my staff, we're going to make you one of these and I'll send it out. Didn't charge me any extra for shipping, sent it straight my way. So I really appreciate it. That's the kind of customer service you're looking for. So make sure you check them out. Like I said, it's pretty hard to get these. It takes a while. It took me months to find them in stock. They're currently out of stock. As far as I could see, they're pretty much out of stock worldwide. I don't know if that's a manufacturing issue, but keep an eye out. Badger Claw will get them back in stock and I hope you pick one up. Like I said, guys, the amount of destruction from Hurricane Laura in the woods out here is unbelievable. I'm probably going to put together some kind of a video down the line as I hike through certain areas. I went to an area that I very commonly film and I did, it didn't even look like the same trail. In fact, despite the fact that I've hiked that section of trail a hundred times probably, I kept thinking, I'm in the wrong place. This is just not where I'm supposed to be. But I found some very specific landmarks and a couple of trees that I really know were there. So I knew I was in the right place even though I knew in my brain I was. Anyway, absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to keep exploring a little bit, finish my coffee. Just want to ask you guys a favor. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. It really, really helps spread things across YouTube. That bird agrees. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, hit that little ding dong bell, the notification button, and you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. As always, guys, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.